Hi guys, it's your boy Juvici and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, first of all, Zan, um, when watching my videos, I'm kindly asking if you can turn on your VPNs because you know Zambia is not counted in the YouTube region, so your watch won't be counted if you're watching from Zambia. But if you turn on your VPN and watch my videos, your watch is going to be counted. So, my video is about analyzing uh, synthetics on binary trading. So, most of you use your MT5, MT4 analyzing your world but you know it's even more accurate when you're analyzing your trades on trading view because it's got all the tools and all the functions that you can do so yeah i hope you haven't forgotten to subscribe to the channel because the video will hope you pick up one or two from this video and let's get into it message me on telegram or instagram at dose fx you can simply check my bio for the links in the description so namely uh, my strategy is largely based on the relationship between the daily time frame and the 15 minutes time frame um, the strategy is entirely based on technical analysis though at most advanced stages i give my opinion on the use of indicators the program is divided into classes that is the forex classes and the synthetics classes so feel free to message me and Feel free to interact with me, check out my socials on Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp. Kindly save my business, my business number on your WhatsApp and check out my catalog on WhatsApp for my So on, on how you can find synthetic indices is on trading view, on how you can find synthetic indices on trading view. So you simply go just Google, the Google home page on, or, or any browser of your choice. So you simply, you simply search for binary, binary trading. These are the results it will bring you trading view implementations for binary.com that's the one you go to and you will see this pop-up logo yeah so how this how this format is it's basically trading view now for synthetic indices and most of you know how user friendly is trading view is with the user friendly tools to make your interesting to make your trading journey more interesting and more accurate with trading view so here we have volatility 25 index but in today's video we're focusing on volatility 75 so if you want to look for your particular Pair that you want to trade so it's got all types but binary.com is simply for synthetic indices so you simply come on the derived on the derived option and uh, remove and delete your previous search and it will bring you all the synthetic indices boom 500 boom 1000 crash 1000 bull market jump volatility 50 75 1s so we're going to 75 and we're here so first thing when you are about to start trading oh yeah first thing when you're about to start trading personally i follow this rule I will go to the 
I will look at the daily time frame to get a look overview of where price is going and where price is positioned so this is the daily time frame the 24 hour 24 hour time frame so you look at in this view so price is consolidating there and it seems like it's gonna buy so then making your analysis i normally make my analysis from 13 30 minute one and one hour time frame but i will make my entries in the 15 minute time frame so making my analysis i will do my analysis from the one hour time frame so this is how i'll make my analysis so we have our chart here chart here so first thing we're supposed to do is look for our support and resistance so this is our support area here this is our support here this this is our support area and this is our resistance area so We firstly look at the market is moving the formation of the market the formation of the market looks like it's going in an uptrend it it has been going in an uptrend price went up consolidated price went up made a new high and continued but it at this point it's consolidated because look it's made two points these highest points like it looks like a double top you know so when i'm starting out i will first thing draw trend lines i will draw trend lines in my structure Make sure your trend lines always touch the third angles, the three points to make it a valid, a valid trend line formation. So I see it in this view. So I'm drawing my trend lines close because I'm focusing on the 15 minute time frame but I will draw them in a one hour time frame so here we have it uh, so this is simply oh my bad simply outbreaks and they retrace back into the market once you draw your once you draw your trend lines we look for our zones our zones where market is placing itself so our first zones we're going to look is during our support Yeah, drain our support. So this is our support. Market here, this is the lower low where we saw market starting to drain our 
our levels our levels we first start to drop join our support level so firstly this is where our support level is being centered paste it the next the next level we're going to look at is the the resistance level so this is support one level We even label it as support, support, support level, support one level. This is our support, support one level. The next support was supposed to look at our resistance because you know when you your resistance is always your highest point so this is our resistance this is our resistance resistance one This is our resistance one. Yeah, this is our resistance one. Resistance one, resistance one level, and the other positions. So this is the long run positions for if you want to enter for a swing trade. If you're looking for positions where you would want to enter a long position, for instance, this one clear indicated market entering in an uptrend. So this area is a good position to enter your entries if you are looking for buys entry one would have been entered as a buy here take profit here once it cut the trend lines here and going out of the price structure then if you wanted to enter a sale this would have been a good entry point for a sale clearly should market consolidating and started entering a sale so we have support one level and resistance one level if you're looking for we are we are now we are now going to look for short position where market is consolidating now so support level number number two will be beneath 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 as market is heading towards it beneath our entries because look at price how price has been bouncing from this area price this is our previous support price came and bounced off and made this area as a a powerful support level so when it comes off it bounces price price action is intending and happening there then our resistance two point is this key area always get the the, the nibble of the candlesticks Hinges. Have you seen how accurate it is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
so here we have uh, resistance to resistance to level this is our resistance to and our resistance one area our support level sub support two Always look for key areas that you might that you may want to enter because price might always comes back for a retracement so you, you can never miss the entry you can re-enter suppose if you wanted to enter a trade again always wait for price to reach your key areas because you know in in this forex industry always have one thing always always have always, always have note to these things one have patience two trust your analysis three don't doubt yourself because there are times where you you would have doubt in yourself i'm like this analysis i've made once press reaches there then you start having doubt because mostly how people end up losing money is because of not them believing themselves and having doubt in their technical analysis but always have faith in your trust in your, in your technical analysis i used to have times where i will make an analysis and when price reaches at my key areas i will be scared failing to risk in this game if you don't risk you will not make anything scared money doesn't scared money will make no money that's that's the key word so these are the key areas these are the key areas when so if you are looking for areas for entering bias these these are the areas you would go for if you want to enter a long position this would be a long position entry here and just wait and how just wait and see how price will act upon your decision that's the one rule. you just have to wait and see how it plays out so here you enter your buy these are the key areas enter in position one support here if you want to enter a long position for a buy and resistance one if you want to enter sales for a long position you would have entered here for a long position or here but it was more valid with these points you'd have entered here and closed here so even for this part i see market going i see market selling to this position because it's been hitting the support level two and creating short distance distances and causing market to consolidate here so once it breaks out once it breaks out i see it coming this point and going back and selling so this is the one hour volatility 75 analysis update for me so i'm all done with my video make sure you subscribe to the channel don't forget to subscribe and interact and socialize with me on all my socials um the so yeah, after you've made your analysis in the one hour time frame you've got your key areas your your technical analysis complete so here you just have to wait and see what price will portray itself so 
looking for entries always enter your few minutes i i enter my entries for in the 50 minute time frame so i'm waiting for price to come to my key areas once market comes in this key area i'm entering a buy for a long position until here um so here we have it with the video so this is how to analyze volatility 75 on binary trading view yes and binary trading view you cannot use this platform entering your trades you can only use it for analyzing and whatnot for you can be having accessible tools like this so we're looking to enter a, a long position here so this would be our entry once price comes there this would be my stop loss and my take profit ratio two to seven which which is which is very fair which is very fair and quite enough if you would take the risk so always always have and when making your trades always have always use management money management when entering your trades if you do not want to lose out so this will be my setup if i'm going to enter once i wait for price to come to my key areas i will enter a buy so and you can save your charts anytime you find them here you will find them every time you log in they will be saved you can load your drawings of the chat so that's that's it with, with the video today this is how to analyze vix 75 on binary trading view so thanks for watching our video don't forget to subscribe and kindly share and like the video stay tuned more videos coming up